Live Lounge. Can we talk about Glee for a moment? Sure, yeah. So Love Glee, to. they have used your song Sing and done mm-hmm. their own Glee-ish version. Do you like the version they've done? Yes. Yeah. And, you know... It's a, and, and I'd like to point out that we still won't do Twilight, by the way. <laughs> right. <laughs> the That's record. where the line is the drawn. Question. No, um, I wasn't going to say that. I wasn't going to say nah, that. Yeah, man. You know, but, uh, they got some good voices, man. Yeah. You know, it, they did uh, a completely different version than we would have ever have done with that song. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, I think it's uh, it's kind of awesome when uh, people put a spin on on different artists' work. I think that's uh, you know, it's it spreads creativity. You know, whether it's uh, whether it's yeah. good or bad. You know. Well, this episode hasn't actually aired in the UK yet, but I've got a sneaky clip of it right now. They raise the key. Yeah. Are you, are you okay with that? Is that okay? Yeah, they yeah, raise the key? Fine. Yeah, because they wanted to be able to sing in those spots. So they... Hit those high notes and do some yeah. jazz hands at the same time. I like it. Now, look, I've got uh, so many questions from your fans that have been texting to my show, so I want to try and get through as many as I can. This one is from Jordan in Maidenhead, who's 13. Jordan says, Hi, Fern. My question for my chemical romance. You're my favourite band in the world, and your music is a massive part of my life. Who are your favourite artists and Ooh, biggest influences? Man. We all like different music, yeah. but we all kind of agree on it, which is, I guess, why, why we have our sound. Because we like different stuff, but we put it all into the pot, and then we agree on what it sounds yeah. like. So um, I know for... There's uh, a couple that are tried and true that, that yeah. I think everybody... Like Credence is, is, Credence. is a big mm-hmm. one for everybody. Misfits. Misfits, Misfits yeah. are big yeah. for everybody. Um, uh, Tom Petty, right? No, yeah. so a good mixing pot of music yeah, pretty, to pretty create mix. what you guys are, really. Uh-huh. Um, Lizzie in Hampshire, uh, my question is, what do you love most about touring and playing live? P.S. I love you guys. <laughs> uh, the show. Yeah, it's got to <laughs> be that. Just play, you know, playing the shows and, um, I mean, it's it's amazing. You know, we're, we're all very lucky to share the stage with people we care about, you know. Um, the five other dudes on the stage is, it's like my best friends. Mm. And we have such a great time up there. So I think that's the best thing. Absolutely. Kelly, who's 16 in Bolton, please ask Frank which of his tattoos is his favourite and if he has any that he regrets having done. You were epic in Manchester, by the way. Oh, th- mm. um, yeah, well, I have a, I have a couple of portraits of uh, my, my two grandmothers that passed away and then I have a portrait of my grandfather that uh, I really do like. So those would probably be my favourites. Any um, regrettables? Um, no, nah, you know, even even uh, some of the worst ones, the ones that came out the worst, are you know, it's it's a moment in time, you know. What the I mean? FTW Cobra is my favorite. <laughs> yeah, wow, you have, it's you an have FTW a pretty good Cobra. <laughs> uh, that's epic. Now, look, we're going to get you to do another live track for us. Uh, this time, a cover without telling us what it is. Can okay. you tell us why you chose this track? Uh, this is a song that, growing up in New Jersey, was very important um, to me and Mikey and anybody that heard it, um, it was very relevant to us, uh, being from a place that you felt like you could never get out of, that you were never going to escape. Um, and then even going to art school, I was able to relate to the song in many ways. It's, it's, a, it's a real honest song with amazing lyrics, and um, it speaks to people. It speaks to regular people, and I think that's um, why it's so great. Um, and it's an amazing band. And um, when, you know, we all talked about what song to cover, I played it for everybody, and I think everybody instantly fell in love with it and knew we can do, hopefully, do justice to the song, you know. That's awesome, but it means something to you as well, and it's got some special memories attached to it for you as well. It always has. I mean, I remember even, like, pushing carts at a supermarket, listening to this song on headphones on a little cassette player, and just, you know, just wondering if I was ever going to get the hell out of New Jersey. Okay, well, look, this is going to be a special one, I can tell. So take it away for a second time. My Chemical Romance in the Live Lounge. She came from Grigi out of this for knowledge. She studied sculpture at St. Martin's College. That's what I... I said in that case I love ramen and Coca-Cola, she said fine. And then in 30 seconds time, she said, Thank you. 
Wow, I did not see that coming. My Kevin Curry rants, Pulp, Common People. Nice. Really nice. So look, Pulp are back together doing their thing now. I know. Is the dream to be on the same bill as them, festival-wise? Yes. <laughs> that is the dream. Mm, yes. Well, they're going to be doing a few festivals this summer. You should try and sort of stalk them and see mm. which ones they're doing. I think we may stalk them a bit. Um, 
Yeah, I think uh, I think actually we want to play this this summer at festivals, but if we're playing the same bill as them, we won't be obviously. <laughs> really? Just but, do it. But there's no way, like, if we're playing it. with Pulp, no, we wouldn't. I mean, it's Pulp. Okay, good. Well, look, we're we're really happy to have you in the live lounge. Thanks so much for stopping on by, and we'll see you guys in Carlisle for the big weekend in May. Yeah. See you then. Thanks, Mike. Thank you.